Hey, Pastor Larry here. You know, no one in their right mind would say that they don't want their prayers answered. It is one of the reasons we pray, after all, to find and or to get answers. This evening here at Faith Baptist Church, we're going to have our midweek prayer service. This isn't just the name of the service, as that we pray. We spend time taking one another's prayer requests, then we take them to the Lord together. I wonder how much of it, of our prayers that is, that we would see answered if we heeded James 5.16. Now, I know I do it, but we'll quote the second part of the verse often. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. But what about the first part? The confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you might be healed. What about that? You know, I've been to hundreds of midweek prayer services and I can't remember a time when someone asked for prayer for themselves because of a struggle with sin. I haven't done that, at least not for a long time. How can our prayers be effectual and fervent if we are not healed? How can our prayers be effectual and fervent if we are not righteous? How can we be righteous if we are not willing to be real? To, to be really biblically righteous? I must have confessed my sins to God and according to the scripture, to my church. Why? For healing. What if my sin has hurt and contaminated the body of Christ? Oh wait. It is unconfessed to God. If it is, I can't be right with Him. And if I'm not right with God, I cannot be right with them. That means I have contaminated the body of Christ. Well, so much for answered prayers. Let that simmer for a bit. <laughs>